From redesigned energy efficient airplanes to aircrafts flying passengers to outer orbit, and your very own personal flying car. Welcome back, everyone, to Future Licious, where we bring you the latest innovations, technology, and gadgets. The Flying V is a proposed flying wing airliner under development by researchers at Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands. The aircraft is designed to be highly energy efficient over long distances. The passenger cabin, cargo hold, and fuel tanks are integrated into the aircraft's wing structure. This would enable the Flying V to take off and land using existing airport infrastructure with enough space on board for the same amount of cargo and human passengers, with 314 seats in the standard configuration. The Flying V would offer some performance benefits through its improved aerodynamics due to its overall smaller airframe. Less mass means less resistance, which means less fuel is needed to carry the Flying V to its destination. Because of this unique design, the engineer claims that it would be about 20% more efficient than jumbo jet aircrafts. The Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 is an air launch space plane designed for space tourism. Its capacity will be eight people, six passengers and two pilots. Spaceship 2 is carried to its launch altitude by a scaled composites White Knight 2 before being released to fly on into the upper atmosphere, powered by its rocket engine. It then glides back to Earth and performs a conventional runway landing. Spaceship 2's most innovative feature is its unique capability to change its shape in space to ensure a repeatable safe re-entry. By rotating its wings and tail upwards while in space, the vehicle's stability and rate of deceleration and descent is controlled by aerodynamic forces. The space plane could also be used to carry scientific payloads for NASA and other organizations. SkyDrive is a Japanese startup with financial backing from Toyota. It's designed to be the world's smallest electric vehicle that can take off and land from a vertical position and plans to introduce it commercially in 2023. The SkyDrive aircraft is about 6.5 feet tall and 13 feet wide. The SDL3 runs off eight electric motors that power different aspects of the craft, which includes four pairs of rotors, two white front lights, and a red light that runs around the bottom of the aircraft's body. Currently, the prototype can fly up to 5 to 10 minutes at a relatively low speed. The next goal is to raise its speed up to 40 miles per hour and extend the flight time to 30 minutes. That would take it from a small, short-hop aircraft to a viable cross-city commuter. Volocopter is a small, egg-like multicopter fitted with a wide halo of 18 rotors. It is essentially an air taxi built to ferry only one passenger at a time over the congestion, overcrowding, and road closures below. But instead of facilitating high-volume air travel between cities like an airport, Volocopter wants to focus on local point-to-point -point travel. It features a flight time of 30 minutes and a maximum range of 17 miles. The batteries can be quickly swapped to compensate for those numbers until the tech improves. Taking off and landing vertically, the vehicle will offer a higher degree of safety and will drop off and pick up passengers and swap batteries in Volo hubs and Volo ports. The Volocopter is based on drone technology and the batteries will be swapped by robots before continuing each journey.
Cora is a completely autonomous vehicle that can travel at 110 miles per hour between altitudes of 500 and 3,000 feet and is all electric with a range of 62 miles. It also takes off and lands vertically, so it doesn't need any runway operation. It aims to one day provide a flying taxi service that can reportedly be summoned with an app. The plan is for the vehicle not to have a pilot on board. Instead, it will be flown mainly by autopilot systems, with supervision from human pilots situated remotely. The electric range and black vehicle has eight rotors to help power its vertical takeoff and landing abilities, and it's apparently a hundred times quieter than a helicopter. The plane has three independent flight computers and can navigate even if one goes down, while each rotor works independently. PAL-V is a cross between a helicopter and a car. It's effectively a gyrocopter aircraft with two engines. Its Rotax engine-based dual propulsion drivetrain includes one engine for driving and one for flying. In the air, the flying car can climb up to a maximum altitude of 3,500 meters, and its 197 horsepower flying engine can propel it up to a speed of 102 miles per hour. Its range is claimed to be 310 miles. To convert the car from driving to flying mode, or vice versa, takes around 5 to 10 minutes. The rotor mass unfolds automatically, but the driver must pull out the tail section, unfold the two rotor blades, and take out the propeller to ready it to fly. On the ground, the propeller and rotor are stopped and powered by its diverted two wheels. The drive mode engine has 99 horsepower and a top speed of 100 miles per hour, with a 0 to 60 sprint in 9 seconds. EVTOL is an unmanned flight drone featuring four three-blade rotors that lifts it into the air. Not too much has been revealed about the three-wheeled battery-powered demonstrator other than it weighs 1,600 pounds and has four three-blade rotors in a 2x2 two -two configuration. It's currently reported capable of spending just five minutes aloft but can fly forward at up to 50 miles per hour. The top speed of its operational model is expected to hover around the 200 miles per hour mark, with an initial range of between 100 and 40 miles, eventually inching up to 500 miles per charge possible. Its aim is to revolutionize how people travel by decarbonizing air transport and give people the freedom to fly to their local neighborhood directly to their destination. Ehang is an autonomous passenger drone capable of reaching over 62 miles per hour. It can fly 25 minutes or a range of 16 to 22 miles. The aircraft is targeted for autonomous flying to be monitored from an Ehang or its customer command and control center. Single and double seated versions are available as well as a cargo drone used for the transportation of goods. The aircraft has a proprietary in-flight operating system the autopilot and flight control system gathers data, then using this information to make the intelligent navigation decisions. The company has also designed multiple types of airports, allowing rooftop landing on all tall buildings with interior automated storage. Airports have been designed for buildings with large and small roof areas. Airports have also been designed for ground and water-based landing facilities as well. Hexa is an all-electric vertical takeoff and landing single-passenger wingless multicopter, ultralight, aimed primarily at tourism and short-distance travel. The Hexa has a motor strut assembly with a total of 18 propellers. This allows the aircraft to be controlled simply by varying individual motor speed. The vehicle can fly with up to six motors disabled, but is also equipped with an autonomous ballistic parachute. The Hexa's all-carbon fiber airframe is supported by four perimeter floats and a large central float under the open cockpit that allow it to make soft landings on water and the ground. Although semi-autonomous and its stability is accomplished by flight control computers, the passenger can use the single three-axis joystick or can engage in autopilot mode using a small touchscreen.
BlackFi is an all-electric vertical takeoff and landing personal aerial vehicle. Utilizing eight small rotors spread across two parallel wings, it takes off by sort of rolling on and off the ground via its rounded belly. It's designed with a triple modular redundant flight system, control surface, and sensors to ensure safety and has flown over 10,000 miles of test flights. The single passenger joystick operated system requires no formal licensing in the US to fly. Its range is limited to 25 miles and speed up to 62 miles per hour in the US. Without restrictions, the specs call for 40 plus miles at 80 miles per hour or more. Blackfly can be disassembled and fit into a small truck. You can quickly assemble the aircraft in 30 minutes and fly. It has supercharging, which means it can charge to 80% in 25 minutes. And it has takeoff and landing assistance. The future can't come soon enough. Which of these are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Click the bell so you don't miss out on our latest videos. We can't wait to bring you more from the future.